Greetings and Happy New Year. Thanks for tuning in for another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. This comes from a viewer request, and it's an issue that I've run into, and I'm sure a number of you have seen this as well, where you have a, a list of dates, but they are in uh, what we might call a European format, where the day value comes first, and then the month. And initially, uh, depending on the month being reflected, or the day being reflected, you might not notice this is the case, because you might look at this first date and think that's uh, August 11th. But when you look further, you see the first two digits say 21, so obviously that can't be the month. So we realize that that uh, reflects the 21st of June. So there's a couple of problems here. One, we want to convert it into a format that, um, say, a uh, uh, U.S. audience is more accustomed to seeing. And second, the other problem is that very often when you download data and it comes to you in this format, these are not actually date values. They look like dates, but in the uh, Excel uh, application, it's being perceived as just text values. There's a couple of ways you can tell that. So when I click on the cell, I'll click on this first one that says 08-11-2020. And if I go up to my uh, formatting section of my home tab and try to convert this to say long date, nothing happens. You know, long date is the format where it would actually spell out uh, November uh, and then it would have even the day of the week, whatever that day is, Tuesday or Wednesday or what have you. Uh, so we can tell that this is not actually a date value. And even if it were, it's not in the format that we want. So what we're going to do is sort of a two-step process, but we're, we're going to actually make it happen with a single, uh, a single step by creating a formula that rearranges those values. Uh, so that'll take care of having it in the right format and uh, having it uh, actually as date values rather than just text that looks like a date. So... First, I'm going to insert a new column. I'm going to right-click on column D and choose Insert. And I'll call my new column uh, US Date. So the good news is <clears throat> that we actually have all the components of data that we need to create a date in the US format. We have the year piece. We have the month piece as well as the day piece. So since we have all three pieces, we can rearrange them or grab those pieces and reconfigure or reconstitute the date in a format that works in our uh, U.S. settings <laughs> on our PC. Uh, so in cell D2, I'm going to start with equals, and we're going to be using simply the date function. So equals date, and then an open parentheses. And recall that every formula will start with an equal sign, and if your formula contains a function like it does here, that function will be followed by a pair of parentheses. Now in this case, the date function needs you to provide three distinct values. A value representing the year, one that represents the month, and one that represents the day. For us, the year component is found as the last four characters of that value in column C. So I'm going to use the write function to extract the rightmost four characters from C2. So we'll use write, open parentheses. The text that the write function needs to refer to is sitting in cell C2. And then comma, the second part of my write function will be the number of characters that I wish to retrieve, and that number is four. So I've now, within my date function, I've written a function using the, the right, I've written a formula using the right function to extract the rightmost four characters. That gives me the year piece, which is what my function is looking for. Now we're going to move on by typing a comma, and we can see through the bolding of that parameter that we need the month value to be part of this date function. And the month, in this case, and this is kind of the issue that we're facing, is the juxtaposition of the month and day pieces in terms of how we're used to seeing it here in the U.S. So the month component here is sitting in uh, the middle of the data in C2. And so we're going to use the mid function. So mid, open paren. 
Now, like the write function, I need to tell the function where the text is to work with, so that still cell C2, comma, but we have a different parameter here that we didn't see with the write function. It's called start number. So we have to tell the mid function the position, the relative position that we needed to start at in the middle of the value in C2. So that 11, that number 11, starts at position number 4, right? Because we have 0, 8, dash, and then position number 4 is where that month component begins, that 11 for November. Comma, the, the third component of the mid function is how many characters, just, with, just like with the right function. So we need two characters starting in position 4. So that's going to extract that number 11 and put it in this spot where the month value needs to go for this date function. Okay, we're just about done, comma, and now we're being prompted for the day value, and in this case, that's going to be the 8, since this is going to reflect the 8th of November, and we can see that that day value is, uh, is shown as the leftmost two characters in C2. So here we will use the left function, open parentheses, the text is in cell C2, comma, and the number of characters is 2. So very similar to what we did with the right function, except we're going from the left side of the uh, text value. And finally, I need a closing parenthesis for the entire formula, right? So this parenthesis that we see here is closing off my left function, but I need to close off the entire date function that we created. Okay, so we hit the Enter key, and now we can see that this shows us uh, November 8th, 2020 in the format that our audience might be more accustomed to. And the other way I know that this is a date value is that if I go up to my formatting section and choose long date, it is able to convert it into the long date format because it recognizes this as truly a date value. Okay, if, it, if this was just sort of a reconstituting of the text in a different arrangement and the value was still being perceived as text, we would not be able to format it in this way by just choosing a different format. So we know that Excel correctly sees this as a true date value, November 8th, 2020. Now, I want to extend this formula down for the remaining entries, so I'll simply double click the autofill handle in the corner and that sends the formula down for the remaining uh, entries in the list. So that works. Um, and then, of course, you'll want to decide if you want to keep column C. Like, do you need that for some other purpose? Uh, or do you just want to leave the uh, converted date values um, and have that as your date column? So uh, if you want to get rid of column C, of course, you'll need to uh, copy and paste values here because if I simply delete column C I'll have an error condition because the values in, in D were made up of what was in C so if I get rid of C uh, then we have that problem so before deleting columns uh, C you would select the values in D and then you can simply right click and choose copy and right click and choose paste special and then choose paste values and so what that does is it leaves the resulting values from the formula you created, but the formula is no longer there. It's just as though you had typed in the values in this way. And so column D is no longer dependent on column C. I can now right click on C and choose delete. And those, those new text, uh, those new date values remain. That's it. So that's how we can take a Euro formatted uh, data entry that looks like a date, it's being seen by your software as text, and it's not in the right configuration or not in the right format. So we use the date function, extract the year, the month, and the day components from that text, and it will it'll put it in the right format for you as a date, and then you're off to the races. I hope you find this useful. Please check in again soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day.